Look at this. This is all new Renergy batteries for the boat. That is so exciting. Thank you so much, Renergy. This is so cool. I am so excited to show you guys this awesome install video that we are planning out right now. But first, let's unbox it all. So Renergy has set us up with five lithium batteries. They're 200 amp hours a piece, and I think this is, should definitely keep us going. All right, let's open these up and see how beautiful they are. So we're gonna keep these as templates for the bottom of the batteries. Ooh. Instructions. Wow, aren't those pretty? So we went with an AGM gel battery for our starting battery. Now this guy is super heavy. I think Searle said it was 140 pounds, whereas the lithium are 60. So that makes it a lot more manageable. Not that I'm lifting any of these myself, but I hear, <laughs> I hear that it's a lot easier to move lithium in and out of the boat. Let's open this guy. So exciting. Look at that. We have the inverter charger, 3000. Um, so this, we can run pretty much everything we have on the boat. We're looking to add a washing machine. So that will probably be the only thing that we don't run on this, wouldn't you say? Aye, aye. It's like Christmas around here. My goodness. All right, you guys, let's get all this stuff on the boat. Iron Man here. It's my gym workout for the day. Whew, so that's exciting. Now we just have to get them installed. No big deal. We got this. Hey Jordan. Hello. What's the plan? I'm just gonna close these windows, put these boxes in there, and then we're gonna go pick up Aubrey. gets back well besides hugs and poodle snuggles probably gonna have to show her that whole shroud that she sheared off talk plan C because Murphy has done nothing if not lived up to its name <laughs> and also have a whole bunch of fun because yay her captain's back what I've been hearing all week is that we're gonna be playing pickleball <laughs> Let's not let Jordan get too into it right now. You'll hear all about that later. Yeah. Also, it feels nice to get out of the marina. I wish I was on a boat, but driving will do. Aero Puerto, here we come. Yes, we shall. Are they putting shrimp in it? No, there's not shrimp in that. Are you sure? That looks like <laughs> shrimp. No. <laughs> Literal. <laughs> Ooh. 
get stranded on a desert island. Which three items would you bring with? Number one, hot sauce. We're like, Poodle, Jordan, and hot sauce. <laughs> Marine, the links look so big here. It does. We're all the way out here. We're right there. Yes. Yeah. And they keep us away from all the others. <laughs> so we're going to head out tomorrow morning. We're going to try to get fuel again. I mean water. Then we'll head out and whoa, we're going to go right over here. So from here to here, it's going to be about three miles. We have about a day of good weather, so we're going to take advantage of it. for our little voyage, we are going to go fill up the water tank. We're gonna take the boat in and get it done. The wind is calm right now, but it's supposed to pick up in a little bit, so we gotta get going. And it is the next day and we're going to try to get into the fuel dock to get some water so let's start old Murphy up and get going <laughs> Okay, now go down and show the battery. Okay. I'm gonna drain the battery. So after a night of slowly trickling the batteries down to not below 12, 
we can't start the boat. Usually she's sitting at about 13 volts. Right now she's at 12, so we're going to have to wait for the sun to come out, which sucks because we wanted to get going and um, there's no wind right now and I was really looking forward to pulling up to the dock without any wind, crosswind, headwind. <laughs> <laughs> Any wind. <laughs> Let's wait a little while. We'll drink this coffee. I'm gonna do something about this, and then we'll try again. Never felt love like this. I'm up so high, feelings might be playing tricks, like birds in the sky. Well, since we need some sun to hit these panels and to give us enough juice to get the uh, engine to go vroom vroom. I'm gonna try and catch a breakfast fish. It seems like a good way to start the day. I'm sinking even deeper still. All the things I make you who you are. All the things I make you who you are. Your skin, your smile, your quirky style. The way you act, just like a child. Side by side, we go through life. It doesn't matter the weather. Making Mondays into fun days, catching feelings like the sun rays falling easy like a sweet dream. I'm deep, I'm sinking even deeper still. All the things I make you. Let's talk about Houdini's electrical system. It's a little bit of a hodgepodge. There's been a lot of people that have touched things, moved things. Our boat is extremely power hungry and the current system just ain't quite up to it. Fortunately, Renergy reached out to us and they are gonna help repower Houdini. This is one 200 amp hour lithium ion phosphate batteries and it also has a little Bluetooth module in. There are gonna be six of these making up the house bank, giving us a total of 1,200 amps or about 14.4 kilowatt hours. That is gonna be a monstrous upgrade. The good side about having Renergy reach out to us at this time, while the captain has been injured and she's off the boat, I can turn this boat upside down, go through all the electrical systems and streamline it, simplify it, clean it up. The other benefits of having Renergy reach out to us, we have now got a support system. If we have any issues, we've got a technical support and they are a supply. This is where the original inverter charger is installed. That is a complete mess with dangerous AC wires, a bus bar right here. So we're gonna clear all this space out and make sure this is good usable storage, ideally for Aubrey's camera equipment. So this is a false panel, it doesn't really do anything. So this can give you a better idea of the space that we have available. Now, to make this look a whole lot better. This job has got way out of hand. This is now turned into a session. So I've got floorboards up, I'm working in, in the back here. I'm, you can see some of the carnage, all the cables that are being pulled out, and there's our electrical engineer. So this guy over here is going to be the lucky receiver of our old house bank. Uh, his boat is just three or four boats down the slip here, which is going to make it a lot easier for us. Some 
thing frightening to see getting back in the boat, removing the battery box, is old water lines and how high they got, which is represented on the side of this box. Take a look at this. You see this line? Water made that flood line. You can see there was a flood line inside here as well. Anyway, getting rid of the old, gonna build the new. So this is the lower salon. Battery box and batteries have been removed and they've found a new home. The battery selector switch, this one, will not be usable because this only has a continuous running rating of 250 amps and what we're going to be doing with our system, we're going to rate it up to 500 amps continuous. So we're going to have to order a new heavy duty switch. So you can see now it's been cleared out. Here on Lopez, there's a local hardware store called Sunset Builders. So we're gonna head there. A little bit chillos and windy today. We got our plywood, we got an extra saw blade, we got some screws, let's head home. And just like that, with the magic of editing and the use of extra hands, we're able to hold up the size and turn in a whole bunch of fasteners. Fit one, not quite right. Uh, unfortunately, the lips around the side are a little bit too tall, so I'm just gonna have to trim that down and try again tomorrow. So this is gonna be attempt two. Battery box. So you can see we're just missing one battery, but this looks real neat. I'm not too worried about temperature because it might have aluminum case, uh, but there's a lot of space in here for it to breathe. You can see there's still a bit of space for the batteries to have some ventilation down the side. I do kind of like the position it's in right now, but it just kind of needs to be centered a little bit better. There's more than enough space underneath for good flow and to run tubes or whatever wires down the base here. Now that we know that it fits nicely, we are gonna tackle with a bit of sanding. Now that it's been sanded, you can see there's a few like little gaps here. Also the end grain of the plywood, there's a lot of holes. So I'm gonna come mix up some thickened epoxy and I'm gonna go over pretty much the whole exterior. So we're gonna be mixing up quite a large batch. Make sure you got a big container. Just make sure when you're mixing, got your hand underneath so you can warm it up a little bit. Gonna be using the slow hardener, uh, just because I am working outside in sunlight, even though it's cold. Uh, before I mix in the colloidal silica, I normally give it a little bit of a stir to get it mixed thoroughly. This stuff will be suspended in the air quite easily and you don't want to get this in on your lungs. Okay, so I'm not looking for the thickest. I want it to be quite spreadable at the same time. I don't know if you can see in there. You can see it's turning into a little bit more of a white paste. 
Okay, we've got a pretty decent sized batch here. Yeah, that is spreading rather well. So I'm just gonna go all out. What's important is to get uh, this epoxy into all the, the knots in the wood. So once I spread it out evenly, then I'll go back and make it look all pretty. Multiple coats of epoxy later, and it is definitely sealed up and is ready to go into the bulge. Now that we have the batteries in its box packed away, now we need to move on to a little bit more of the other side of this whole project. Captain and I have come to agreement that this area would work best. What used to be here used to be these panels that were just glued on. So I just took a hammer and knocked that off. And what we're going to do, uh, it will be out of sight, out of mind. And then I'll put on a hinge so it can be open, closed. Maybe even have a little light, a windless uh, thermal breaker, and probably up at the top here have the inverter on off. I want to plug all these holes, clean it up, fix it, make this look all pretty again. And it will be a perfect area to mount some of the controllers. 